my top five or first time home buyer make and how to avoid them. What is going on family? This is RJ Bautista, your favorite Filipino Central Florida Realtor with LPT Realty, specializing in new construction. In this video, I will give you my top 5 home buyer make or first time home buyer make and how to avoid them. So if this is you, make sure to watch this video from this start until the end because I will give you some good nuggets and information especially if you are planning to buy a property anytime soon and if you are first time home buyer, I will give you some process and also some tip that you need to follow to make sure that your first home buying process will be smooth but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and the most important thing you know that mash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends especially for those people who's looking to buy a property anytime soon and last thing that i would like to add here is i am filipino nagtatagalog po ako kung may mga question kayo ang gawin nyo lang po is text nyo and I will reply you as soon as possible. I promise. Text ko po kayo. Without further ado, let's jump into it. So number one I would like to talk here is not starting the approval process early. So what do you mean about this? So if you're planning to buy a property, especially if you are a first-time home buyer, we have a pre-approval process or they call it pre-qualification process before you ever get a loan. And this pre-approval process or PQ or pre-qualification process is the process of of the lender which who will ask for your credential for your financial let's say for your pay stub w2 and so on to see if you are qualified to get a loan or a mortgage loan okay so you need to do this early as possible if you are planning to buy a property why because the lender will give you the information what you need to do or what you need to fix regarding your financial situation if you have to fix something to make sure that your loan or your loan process will be smooth and nothing gonna be a problem in the future because without the pre-approval or without the PQ or pre-qualification letter you cannot move forward to buy a property let's say if you want to buy a resale house most of the seller will ask for your pre-approval letter from the lender obviously if you don't have that one you cannot negotiate or you cannot do anything until you have those and same thing if you're buying a new construction as you know I'm specializing in new construction most of the builder will ask your pre-qualification letter from the lender before you can move forward to the property that you would like buy. That makes sense? So that's the number one that you need to do on if you are planning to buy a property and you need to avoid of those like, I will do this when I'm ready. I would do this like tomorrow when I see the house. I would highly suggest to do the pre-approval first or pre-qualification or PQ first before looking the house, not the other way around so that you know that you are qualified and if not, not at least you are not gonna be upset to see this property and if this is not for you and it, and and this is the property that you like and then suddenly when you get PQ or pre-approval you're not approved for a loan so I don't want you to upset okay so do that one first so number two is looking at the mortgage rate only one so it means like you are getting a quote for a lender only for one you're not shopping around why because you only have one lender I highly suggest to get at least two lenders so so that you will have an option option number one is your preferred lender and option number two is your second preferred lender this is how it works sometimes when the lender give you your pre-approval or pre-qualification letter and when you find a property that you would like to buy you show this to the lender and you look at the numbers the lender will give you some estimate what you need to pay what you need to do this and here and there if you're not happy on the numbers that you can see at least you have a second second per lender which they can give you a comparison on your first lender or the numbers that the first lender give you and also the second lender that giving you or the numbers that they are giving or provide you so that you have a comparison and pick which one will best for your needs especially in your financial situation so my number three is not working with a real estate agent or realtor like me you know that right so this is what the thing you can buy a property without representing a real estate agent or realtor on your behalf exactly you can 
can do that one and I'm not stopping you to do that one and I'm not telling you to hire a real estate agent or realtor to represent you however this is the consequence or what you can have without representing yourself of a realtor so if you are planning to buy a property especially for a new construction you can just go to the community of a new construction and then what will happen is if there's no community if there's no realtor on your behalf to represent you what will happen your best interest as a buyer or as a consumer you cannot represent that by yourself to the builder or to the seller right because there's no real estate agent to help you to represent your best interest like me i'm a real estate agent or a realtor i don't represent anyone i represent my client or my buyer's client to the seller or to the builder not the builder interest neither that the seller interest it's your interest because i'm working with you or we are as a realtor working with you as a client so that we will help and represent best interest i hope that makes sense so it's your option if you are going to buy a property without realtor do it but if you want something that you can represent you save you a lot of time number one and a lot of money especially like negotiating make sure to have a at least a realtor to help you out right so that's my number three so my number four is buying more home that you can afford so what do you mean about this so let's say you get your free qualification letter or your pre-approval amount of let's say five hundred thousand dollars okay that's a good amount of five hundred thousand property or a good property of five hundred thousand dollars okay however if you have those pre-qualification letter or pre-approval that's saying you are entitled to buy a property of five hundred thousand you don't have to use that all or maximize that four hundred or five hundred thousand property to buy a property you can just find a property for let's say four hundred thousand property around here in my area specializing in as you know i'm specializing in new construction around here in central florida especially here in my exact area in davenport in polk county i can find you for four hundred thousand property or lesser for a new construction with a good deal and you will also get the best property for new construction in this area it's just because like i know a property or i help few people that who wants to buy a property especially in new construction i found it like below 400,000 or not even 400,000 like 350,000 360 70 something like that with the new construction newly built property with a good deal so most of them are pre-approved for 400,000 most of them are approved for more than that for 480,000 or even 500,000 but we didn't maximize that price because we know the monthly prices of that property of 500,000 will be more compared to 400,000 property right because the more that you can afford and you think like you can pay this monthly yes you can however i don't want you to struggle on your monthly payment for your mortgage if you are going to live in the property and you cannot do anything outside of your property just in your property just make sure buy what you can only afford it doesn't matter like if you are approved for five hundred thousand, don't maximize it if you want it's up to you all right i'm just here to help you and guide you so that's my number four and let's go to my number five which is the very crucial one not checking your credit score report okay so credit score is very 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 important guys in this home buying process especially if you are a first time home buyer because what will happen is if the lender are seeing that your credit score are are really low what will happen is either they will not approve your loan or they will give you a high interest rate for a mortgage however if your credit score is good or high enough what will the lender is they will approve your loan with no problem no question and also they will also give you a best interest rate in the market okay so for ballpoint or if you're thinking what credit score should I have I am NOT a lender but this is what I see most of the lender are asking for is 620 credit score or up so if you are a first-time home buyer they call it they have a fha loan fha loan is the first-time home buyer which is like if you don't have the best credit score you can have that one and also you will have like a good interest rate compared to conventional loan so what will happen is most of the lender asking for 620 credit score or higher they will approve your loan obviously if you have like higher than 620 let's say you have like 720 
credit score higher than that one obviously they will give you a better interest rate compared you only have like 600 to a credit score the lower you have the higher interest rate you get and the higher credit score you have the lower or the better deal that interest rate you will get so that's my five mistakes of the first time home buyer makes and how to avoid them to so make sure that to watch this video from the start if you have to until the end again so it will remind you before shopping a property especially if you're a first time home buyer if you watch this video until this end comment down below home buyer so i could see how many people who's looking to buy a property anytime soon and maybe i can help you i could represent you as your realtor specializing in new construction and i could help you and give your best interest to the seller or to the builder not the builder best interest to you okay so remember that one thank you for watching this video and i'll see you on my next video i'm out for today peace that's the video for today. That's my five things that you need to remember or you need to think about that. You, so that's my, so this is the video for, so that's my five, so that's my five mistakes or you need to, so that's my, so this is the video for, so that's my, so that's my five mistakes.